hey guys welcome back to the channel hope this video finds you well today my topic is about the windows server and i am going to download and install windows server 2012 r2 and i am going to create a virtual machine using oracle vm virtual box and i am going to install this server on that vm so let's move towards the download process and then installation process you simply have to type in your browser download windows server 2012 r2 the first url will be the microsoft and then you have to select uh, the iso according to your language these are just a simple option available I am going to download this first one ISO and you have to click on this 64 bit addition and the ISO download process will be started. To save the time for the video I have already downloaded this ISO so I am going to cancel this and the next step I have to create a virtual machine or a VM in my Oracle virtual box. So I am going to click on this machine button and click on this new and I am going to name it Windows Server and I have to select the default location where I am going to install this and then I have to select the ISO I am going to because I have already downloaded so I am going to attach this and it has been already selected type with Microsoft Windows and version and I am going to check this skip unattended installation because I want to install all the windows server manually and i have to click on this finish button okay guys my virtual machine has been created i am going to maximize some resources and let's say we are going to assign 3 gb of ram to it and now we have to click on this start button to start our virtual machine of windows server okay the installation process just started you can select the language time and accuracy and keyboard or input method i am going to go with the default values click on next button and then install now the installation setup has been starting and you have to select the version which you want to use i am going to select this one windows server 2000 12 r2 standard evaluation server with gui if you select the first one it will not include the gui the second one will be include with the gui and the description will be available below now you have to click on this next button and you have to accept the license and go with the custom installation and the 50 gb of the virtual memory available i am going to create a new drive and allocate this all drive to one drive base drive which one will be the local disk c or the os drive you have to click on this next button and the installation process just has been started Currently it is getting file ready for the installation.
the second step for the getting files ready for installation is about to complete Now the third step just started installing features. Installing update. Now it is going to restart. I am going to do it manually. Don't press any key here because the installation already has been completed now it will perform some preparation steps Okay, now it is asking for the password for the administrator user. Okay, the installation process just has been completed. Now you have to make this screen enable you have to press ctrl alt plus d to sign in i am going to use the virtual box shortcut key and the login page will be available you have to set enter the password which have entered by earlier and the windows server 2012 r2 has been installed the server manager has been open up and all the features has been available to you in your windows server right these are the simple steps you can download the iso for the windows server 2012r2 and install on your virtual box or the virtual create virtually created machines hope you guys understood these steps please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends colleagues and students please support me and my channel until then, thank you for watching. Goodbye.